Hey everybody, it's Austin Salomon. Welcome to this week's episode of The Real. It's going to be a quick episode today. We're just talking about earnest money. What is it? Um, what is it all about? Um, so yeah, earnest money, what it is, it's good faith that a buyer is going to complete the terms of the offer. Um, so when you make an offer on a house, uh, traditionally you either attach earnest money or you say that you're going to deliver it within a certain amount of time frame. Um, you know, it could be five to seven days. Uh, in the Wausau area, traditionally it's right around like half of a percent to 1% of the purchase price. Um, you know, it, it tends to be a little bit lower in our area than what I've heard surrounding areas uh, throughout the country are. Um, but basically what it says is, hey sellers, uh, I'm putting some money down in good faith that I'm gonna complete the terms of the offer. So it might be 500 to 2,500 bucks and you're telling the seller like, hey, we're putting this money aside. Um, it shows that I'm serious about the, the house. Um, and you know, if the buyer were to back out for no reason, which they can't do, it is a contract, um, but if they if they did, at, you know, there'd be something there that the seller could hold on to, or you know, there's at least some skin in the game. Uh, that's the purpose of earnest money: is put some skin in the game. Um, it gets delivered to the traditionally it gets delivered to the listing agent's office. So the person that has the sign in the yard, that company um, would be the where it's held in a trust account. Uh, traditionally, with the listing agent's office, or it could be held at the title company as well. Um, so that's where it's traditionally delivered. Um, and then, uh, when the, when the transaction works out and everybody's happy, that earnest money goes to the title company. It's used towards your down payment and closing costs. So you get that money back. Um, so that's what earnest money is. It's a deep dive. A couple other small tips and pieces as a seller, obviously the more earnest money, the better, it's the more skin in the game. It shows good faith. As a buyer, you kind of have to monitor it. Obviously, um, you have to have enough, you know, you put your earnest money in. Um, you don't want to put so much in that you don't have money for like your inspections and other stuff like that. And obviously your day-to-day -day expenses. Um, but if you put a good amount of earnest money down, you're showing that seller, hey, I'm serious about the house and I'm interested in, in moving forward. And here's Here's a good faith deposit to show that. So that's a little bit about earnest money. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, if you guys need anything, if you have any questions, just reach out. You can call me or text me. Uh, we're excited to help. Thanks so much.